and welcome to our lesson on modeling nonlinear direct proportion. For question A, we have y is proportional to x squared. So this tells us that as the value of y increases, the value of x squared will also increase, but it doesn't tell us at what rate they will increase together. To find this out, we need a equation involving the constant of proportionality, which is k. So to find k, we're going to substitute in when y is 80, x is equal to 4. So 80 is equal to k times x squared, which is 16. We can divide both sides by 16. So the value of k will equal 5. So our model for this variation is y is equal to 5x squared. I have substituted in this value of k into here. We can model this relationship graphically where we have the y values and the x values and the model will look like a smooth parabola with the equation y is equal to 5x squared. Now we're going to use our model to find the value of y when x is equal to 6 and the value of x when y is equal to 405. So we're going to substitute in x is equal to 6 in place of x. So we have y is equal to 5 times 6 squared, which is 36. y is equal to 180. So when x is equal to 6, y is 180. When y is equal to 405, this is 5x squared. We can divide both sides by 5. So 81 is equal to x squared. We can take the square root of both sides. So the x value will be 9. OK, let's try the next question. For question B, we have n is directly proportional to h cubed. This tells us n and h are in direct proportion. We need to use k to tell us the nature of this variation. We can find k by substituting it in n is equal to 24 when h is equal to 2. 24 is equal to k times 2 cubed, which is 8. We can divide both sides by 8. So k will equal 3. So the model is n is equal to 3 h cubed. I have substituted this value of k into here. Graphically, we can model this as a cubic graph with the equation n is equal to 3 h cubed. These are your h values. And here are your n values. We can use this model to calculate the value of n when h equals 5 and the value of h when n equals 1029. So when h is equal to 5, we have n is equal to 3 times 5 cubed. So n will equal 375. When n is equal to 1029, we can substitute this into our model. And this is equal to 3h cubed. We can divide both sides by 3. So h cubed is equal to 243. We cube root both sides. So h is equal to 7. OK, let's try one more question. If you want to try and model d is proportional to s squared and complete the table of results using your model, you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we have d is proportional to s squared. To describe how they are in proportion, we need to use the constant of proportionality. As an equation, d is equal to ks squared. 
We know when d is equal to 23.5, s is equal to 3. We'll substitute both of these values into our equation. And 3 squared is 9. So 22.5 divided by 9 will equal k. So k will equal 2.5. So our model, d is equal to 2.5 s squared. Graphically, again, we have a parabola. We have our s values horizontally, d values on the vertical axis, and our parabola has the equation d is equal to 2.5 s squared. And now we're going to use our model to find d when s is 6 and to find s when d is 605. When s is equal to 6, we have d is equal to 2.5 times s squared, which is 36. So d is equal to 90. And finally, when d is equal to 605, we have 605 is equal to 2.5 s squared, We'll divide both sides by 2.5. So s squared is equal to 242. We'll take the square root of both sides. So s will be approximately 15.6. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.